we only released INAF7 like when in December that was like four months ago in the in the beginning of the of the December originally we planned to release INAF7.1 somewhere in February but then the weather in February is not really not that great turned out that the guys and also me had something else to do we still waited for uh, a few interesting features to drop by this is why INAF7.1 goes live on Monday the 1st of April no it's not a joke this is not a joke release we are going live on the April the 1st there will be no special stream i'm just gonna hit the button publish everything and uh, you will be super happy and uh, inf 7.1 brings a few super interesting things to the table first of all inf 7.1 will make it possible to set up a tail seater vtol you know that vtol vertical takeoff and landing or landing that is not really like transforming because it's uh, shifting the motors or anything like that it's just like lands like a drone then takes off and transforms into the into the flying wing mode this thing will be finally supported in nf 7.1 there will be a separate platform time called the tail seater vtol and uh, you will be able to use this thing with only one mixer profile because uh, if there is no transformation of how everything is handled there is basically only one uh, mixer profile a lot of users will be very pleased to see that uh, the filtering on the icm 426 uh, 88p gyros basically i think this, this is the most popular gyro at the moment on the market because everyone uh, everybody are putting icm gyro on their flight controllers why because it's available unlike the MPU 6000 for example the filtering on this thing will be will be greatly improved and uh, most probably this gyro will uh, finally and one again once once more time behave exactly like it should be behaving and there will be no penalty of, of going with the ICM gyro there will be some uh, changes to SD some new targets some uh, GPS improvements and what I already mentioned magless navigation what is a magless navigation it's just a navigation without the magnetometer because previously you had to have a magnetometer to be able to have any gps assisted flight mode position hold cruise return to home waypoints you just had to have magne magnetometer now it's no longer true it's fully possible to fly without a magnetometer uh, because how it works right now INAF will just take off you fly uh, with the gps enabled uh, INAF uh, gathers the cruise over ground and then tracks it uh, with the gyro movements uh, words works pretty nice and gives um, well position hold without magnetometer it's there by the way this is interesting because this feature was developed kind of by accident <laughs> <laughs> the original idea is to improve the handling of the magnetometer but then uh, after a shot out the, the same guy who brought you vitals and fixed the artificial horizon like implemented this someone says, oh you don't really need magnetometer to um, to have position hold how cool is that of course this is also something that uh, pilots will have to remember the magless navigation will be less precise than the navigation when your multi-rotor has magnetometer if you have the magnetometer then the INAF always knows your current heading and can uh, work act accordingly however without the magnetometer then there is only an estimation and as the result yeah in most of the cases it's fine but there, there's always a possibility that it's not fine and strange things are going to happen if you have a working setup with the magnetometer don't throw out the magnetometer just keep it there the new code will also greatly improve tracking. 